everybody. Hi, Allie. Hi, everybody. How was your week? Did you think about what I said at the end of last week's discussion? Hmm, I don't remember, Andy. What did you ask us? Well, I asked everyone to take some time this past week to think about how it is that we love each other, about how we humans love conditionally, and how we might learn to love each other more like God loves us, and that is unconditionally. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. No, I forgot to. But I do remember what conditional love is, I think. What do you remember about conditional love, Allie? Well, conditional love is loving someone because they are family or because they do something for us or because they help us. Is that right, Andy? That's exactly right, Allie. And do you remember another kind of love that I mentioned? Mm, unconditional love, Andy? That's right. And do you remember anything about unconditional love, Allie? Hmm. Isn't unconditional love how God loves us, Andy? Very good, Allie. That's exactly right. The Bible tells us in 1 John 4, 8 that whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. God is love and his love is very different from conditional human love. God loves us despite our love or lack of love for him or whether we obey him or not. In other words, God loves us without placing any conditions on us. He loves us because it is his nature to love and that love moves him to action, as we read in Matthew 5, 45. He causes the, his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. The unconditional nature of God's love is clearly seen in the gospel. Mm -hmm. What's the gospel, Andy? Well, the word gospel means good news, and we most often use this term when referring to God's word, the Bible, and the truths given to us in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Understand. The gospel message is basically a story of God's rescuing his people. As God considered the mess that his rebellious people found themselves in because of sin, he was determined to save them from their sin, and this determination was all because he loves us without condition. Listen to the Apostle Paul's words in Romans 5, 6 through 8. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for, for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man. Though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This divine rescue based on unconditional love resulted in a gracious act of self-sacrifice. As Jesus said in John fifteen thirteen, greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. That's precisely what God, through his son Jesus Christ, has done. The unconditional nature of God's love is made clear in other passages of Scripture as well. Ephesians 2, 4-5 says, but, God, because of his, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in sin. It's by grace you have been saved. And in 1 John 4, 9 and 10, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. His love is unconditional. It's not based on feelings or emotions. He doesn't love us because we're lovable or because we make him feel good. He loves us because he is love. He created us to have a loving relationship with him, and he sacrificed his own son, who was willingly, who also willingly died for us to restore that relationship. Something else that we should know is the fact that God's unconditional love does not mean that everyone will be saved and go to heaven, nor does it mean that God will ever, never discipline his children. If we ignore God's merciful love and reject the Savior who died to save us, we will suffer God's wrath for eternity, not his love. For a child of God who, to willfully disobey God is to invite God's correction or discipline. Does that mean that if we are bad, God won't love us anymore, Andy? No, Allie. God loves everyone, and he shows mercy and kindness to all, good and bad. In that sense, his love is unconditional. I think I understand now, Andy. God doesn't love us because we love him first, like conditional human love. His love is always there. No matter what we do, he will still love us, right? That's right, Allie. Very good. You know, the love that your parents have for you is a good example of God's unconditional love here on earth. As a parent, we continue to love our children though good, through good times and bad. 
and we don't stop loving them if they don't meet the expectations we may have for them. We make a choice to love our children even when we might consider them unlovable. Our love doesn't stop when we don't feel love for them. This is similar to God's love for us. Wow! That I understand. My mom would do anything for me, I think. Thanks, Andy. You're very welcome, Ellen. That's all the time we have this week. I hope you learned a little bit about God's unconditional love for us. I sure did, Andy. Let's pray. Father, thank you for loving us without condition and for loving us so much that you sent your only son, Jesus, to take our punishment for us. Help us to better understand the unconditional love that you have for us so that we in turn can love those around us in a way that will show your love to them and draw them to you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. So as we close today's discussion, here's something to think about for this week. We have all sinned and deserve God's judgment. God the Father sent his only Son to satisfy that judgment for those who believe in him. Jesus, the Son of God, who loved, lived a sinless life, loves us so much that he died for our sins, taking the punishment that we deserve. If you truly believe and trust this in your heart and receive Jesus alone as your Savior, you will be saved from punishment and will spend eternity with God in heaven. Are you ready to make this choice, this commitment? Are you ready to experience God's unconditional love in your life? It's never too late. Have a great week. Bye, everyone. Bye, Allie. Bye, Andy. Bye, everybody. Have a good week.